So hello everyone, welcome to Ace Learning Academy's YouTube channel. My name is Arjun Chabra. I'm a faculty at Ace Learning Academy, uh, and uh, we have with us Vikas, and he is uh, our live classes student, Ace Online live classes student, and he is Civil Engineering All India Rank 19 in Gate 2024 examination. So congratulations, Vikas. Thank you, sir. So, uh, Vikas, uh, from how long you have been preparing, and uh, from which college do you belong? Sir, I have completed my B Tech in Civil Engineering from National Institute of Technology, Surat Kal, in 2018, sir. After that, I have decided to prepare for Gate exam in 2019. Hmm. So, for the 2019 Gate, uh, I have prepared on my own. I have done self preparation in 2019. And I have secured All India Rank 490 in 2019, and in 2020 I have secured a job as junior engineer in South Central Railway Zone of Indian Railways. Mm. Since then I am working, but parallelly I have been giving gate every year, and in 2024 I have got a rank of AIR 19. So, okay, so you are oh, sorry, uh, All India Rank 19. Yes. Um, So this is your which attempt? So uh, this is my sixth or seventh seventh attempt. So I have been attempting every year, but on a serious preparation note, I have this is my second or third serious preparation. So every year I have just been giving just to know the kind of questions that are being asked in GATE because I have also uh, I have done M Tech during twenty nineteen to twenty twenty three. So okay. So you, you did anything part time? Yes, sir. Actually, uh, based on my grade uh, rank in 2019, uh, I have joined in MTech in NIT Varangal, sir. And after completing one year in NIT Varangal, I have got this job as junior engineer, sir. So I have con- converted my MTech on a part time basis, and it has completed recently in 2023 June, sir. So after that, uh, I have been dedicating my time. For preparing for the GATE exam 2024, so this time I was able to prepare on an all-round basis because of which I was able to get this rank. Okay, so um, M Tech is in structural engineering or transportation? Structures, sir. In NIT Varangal, I have done M Tech in engineering structures. Sir. Okay, because I was assuming that you have been working as a junior engineer in railways, so you yes, must sir. be doing uh, M Tech in transportation, but. How how did you opt for structural engineering? What was the reason? Sir, among all the various specializations, I've always felt interested in structural subjects, sir. So, okay. so that is the reason I opted for engineering structures in NIT Bharat as my M Tech specialization. Okay, okay. So um, now, how are you utilizing your? Uh, how are you planning to utilize your GATE score this year? Sir, I'm. So since I've already done M Tech, I'm planning to utilize this score for joining with PSU as well. Okay. I want to upgrade upgrade my career. So in that prospect, I'm trying to use this score for joining any good PSU. Engineering Services का exam दिया था? Yes, sir. I've given ESC 2024 this year. Okay. Um, what are you expecting? Sir, I think I'll qualify this year, but okay. we'll have to see sir, until that is. You'll have to see. Okay, no issue. And um, since you have been preparing for such a long time, um, how did you plan your schedule with your job as well as doing M Tech as uh, on site? So you have been doing three things: preparing for competitive exams, you have been doing your M Tech, and you have been doing your job. So three things you have been doing in one day. So how did you plan your routine and just give an give an overview of your day, sir? While I was doing my M Tech, since it was a part time M Tech for the project portion, so I have I used to spend some time on it on a daily basis, sir. At least when the semester exams final presentation exams were there, but I could not dedicate myself completely to. Prepare for gate or complete to various other complete exams. Sir, it was it was a bit tough, but after completing my M Tech in 2020, since then I was able to 
get some free time to dedicate myself for the preparation of gate or 20 gate or other competitive exams right? so so now i am a bit free to prepare for competitive okay now now, now you got nothing to lose your exactly. uh, your seat in psu is fixed now you can even go further up until uh, cse examination as well civil service is also you can go for now you should aim for that because you have that caliber i think so because you have been doing so many things at one single time and you must be good in planning your subject and time uh, it was a bit tough sir but i was able to manage it so uh, you took online course with us um, yes, so sir. online will be beneficial for those who have been pursuing some kind of a job or studying on site exactly How did you with online sir yes sir since i was doing a job enrolling in a full length offline course or a full length online course was not possible sir because of the time it requires to fully complete all the subjects so i have enrolled myself in short term courses sir revision course of you know, ace academy i have also enrolled myself in esc mains or online course so with the help of these courses i was able to solve good number of questions sir since in esc mains which we come across a lot of good subjective questions which has en enhanced my concepts or improved my concepts a lot so for those who are doing job enrolling in an online course is very beneficial sir since it will help them to be in touch with the subjects and it will help them throughout their preparation journey so instead of giving up completely if an aspirant wants to prepare for a competitive exams it would be really beneficial if they enroll themselves in online course which is what i have done and which is what made my preparation continue uh, to be on a consistent basis whenever i i lose my consistency i watch a few lectures which will bring back my interest in the subject so that is how i have maintained i have tried to maintain the consistency throughout this preparation sir even after passing out from since 2018 i have passed out in 2018 even after so many years enrolling in an online course helped me in maintaining my consistency so even if you missed out some classes because of your busy schedule you can also watch a recorded session afterwards exactly manage according to your time exactly sir that that is the advantage sir that is a adva added advantage in an online course we can schedule the lectures according to our available free time sir so the only thing that is required is the candidate must be inspired you know or motivated enough or he should have self discipline in order to watch these lectures yes so because that is the main key in uh, exactly. offline classes you get that competitive feel very easily exactly. but in online classes you need to be self motivated with the kind of uh, success you want exactly so only if a person is self disciplined then an online course or any then an online course is very much beneficial sir okay you also took offline test series with us yes sir i have taken so, offline esc yes sir esc mains test series i have enrolled myself in the offline course and i have given a lot of tests in the abits campus sir so the questions were really good sir it helped me a lot to improve my concepts and it helped me in my preparation okay okay thank you very much vikas uh, you gave uh, very good insights regarding how to manage time and how can a student who is working as well as uh, preparing for competitive exam can go for online sessions and manage their studies um so thank you very much vikas for your insights thank you sir. see you in thank future. you sir.